speakers here from uh, coming up next that are from out of state because they made the trek here today to support our rights and stand with Connecticut. So up next, Granite State Patriots, Jeff Kimball. Yeah! And by the way, real quick before I hand him the mic, Melody, where are you? Right here. All right, go ahead. All right, get ready to rumble. comments, I uh, want to talk about a little other kind of tyranny that we've been following up in New Hampshire. And I'm really sick and tired of what I've been seeing. So I want to ask Governor Duval from Massachusetts to free Justina Pelletier. Yeah! My young girl has to go back to her parents. This is a disgrace. You know, I had a rally last year. We called it Honor Your Oath. I tried to come up with something that had a common denominator, a theme that everybody could understand. And then it hit me. I'm a prior Navy guy, okay? I took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. How many veterans are out here today? Shout out! There's the reason for your liberty and your freedom. The blood and the treasure that has been expended on behalf of all of us by all of our military, present and in the past, cannot be forsaken, cannot be in vain. But the key thing is this. All of our legislators, state and federal, take a what? They take an oath to protect and uphold the Constitution of both their state and the United States of America. Law enforcement, local police, your sheriffs, your troopers, Hell, even the firemen, they take a very similar oath to protect and uphold the Constitution. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, period. There is no gray area here. You don't get to pick and choose what part of the Constitution you want to uphold. You uphold it all. I watched in horror at what happened at Sandy Hook, as did all of us. I was in tears on my couch. And you know, sadly, the first thing I thought of was, you know what? Barack Obama is going to use this. He's not going to let any crisis go to waste. Shame on him. Shame on him for using dead children and the parents of dead children as props in an effort to put forth his ideology of gun confiscation. We live in the greatest country that God gave man. And we are not going to allow anybody, anybody to take our guns away. It isn't going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I hear way too many commentary in the public, and even with some of the state reps in your state and mine, that talk about the Second Amendment like it's about hunting. They talk about the Second Amendment like the entirety of it is about self-defense. Surely that's important. But come on, the real reason the Second Amendment is second is because of its importance. It is there to protect the entire Constitution. It is the protector of it. The Constitution is the document upon which and the foundation upon which this entire country was built. We are not going to allow what is happening to continue any longer. The reason for the Second Amendment and the reason why we need high capacity magazines and semi-automatic weapons is so we can fight off a tyrannical government and so we have compatible weapons. That's the reason for the Second Amendment. Now let's be honest with each other. We have dropped the ball. 
The fact that these laws got passed here in Connecticut speaks loudly to that. But you're out here today, and now many more of you have to get out here again. You have to make sure that every representative and every congressman that you vote for, that their first order of business is that they tell you they will uphold the Constitution and the Second Amendment of the Constitution. And I'm going to tell you something else. I'm a Republican, a conservative Republican. But I don't care about that anymore. Let's be honest. We have to start blurring the R and the D beside people's names and start realizing that we are all in this together. We are Americans guided by God before we're anything else. And we better start acting like it. Time is running out. We're heading over a cliff. And if we're going to reel this back in, then all of you have to stand tall. And by the way, I am, by the way, an advocate of having one of my favorite sheriffs in the United States of America, Sheriff Joe Apio, to take some, <laughs> to take some posses and go down to Washington, D.C. and put this man in an orange suit. In fact, pink, pink is his suit. Pink would look better. Sorry and drag his butt out of that White House. This is a disgrace. The tyranny that we're confronted with, I never thought that the age that I'm at, that I would have to come out and speak to these issues. For that matter, most of you, I'm sure, never thought of it either. But you know what? It doesn't matter how old you are. It really doesn't. It's, it's going to take, it took 3% back in 1776, and it's going to take 3% now. the landscape here. I see people from all walks of life, all income strata. I see the veterans. I see the oath keepers. I see you guys. I see the three percenters. I see all the Tea Party flags and the Gatson flags. This is America. We're not the extremists. By God, if you believe in the Constitution, and you believe in America, and you believe in this republic, and you believe in small government, and people call you an extremist, then bring it on! That's where we are! We came here from New Hampshire, which by the way, is the live free or die state. And we take that Oh, seriously. That's our motto. And when we came marching in today, we were deadly serious. We came to stand shoulder to shoulder with every Connecticut patriot, hell, even Canadians if they were here, but every Connecticut patriot that's here today. We are all in this together, and it's time we better all wake up in the United States of America to this fact. I will expect you, if we run into a problem, to come to New Hampshire and stand with us. Yeah! In closing, I just want to say this. The day after Sandy Hook occurred, my 13-year-old, she's now 15, but my 13-year-old granddaughter came to my house. And she was upset as any child of their age would be. And she said to me, Papa, my school has the same security system that Sandy Hook had, and that man just shot right through the door, went right in, and she says, we have the same security lockdown system. When we get in the classroom, when they put us down in the corner of the classroom and the door's locked, we always wonder what would happen if somebody came in with a weapon. And I said, well, what are you thinking you should do? And she says, well, I'm gonna jump out the window. And I quickly said, but you're on the second floor. And she said, I know. So, three quick points. She said to me, and I asked her, what do you think should happen? She said, I think the teachers should be armed. I think they should protect us. Three quick points. You want to end this tyranny, you want to protect the children, if you really want to protect the children, then you abolish gun-free zones in the United States of America. You get rid of them all. Two, the second thing
willing you do. It's you arm and train willing, willing teachers to defend the children. And the third thing you do is you put a sign over every entrance and exit that says, one, if you intend to harm our children, you will be met with deadly force. I promise you, no one's going to come in that door. They won't come in. I leave you with this thought. My father fought in every major battle in the Second World War in the Pacific, and my wife's father landed in Normandy and fought all the way to Berlin. They did not do those things and all the lives and treasure that were lost to have this happen in this country of ours. Are you up for the fight? Are you ready to hit back? then you, all of you, need to come out in droves and wipe out every single person that violated their oath of office in your state house. You get rid of this governor. You get rid of, I don't care, Republican, Democrat. If they voted or sponsored a bill that restricts your gun rights, you get rid of them and put people in that believe in this country and believe in the Constitution. Thank you for giving me the time today to spend with you.